I have had stuff in a pile being saved to be ready to put in a package to mail to you for far too long. Since before Halloween, since pretty much, pretty close to your birthday, which of course was September. And it is now almost Christmas. I just have to do it. I don't have a box that's the right size and I don't want to try to find one because I'm kind of lazy. Well, <laughs> lazy because I've done it. But instead of finding a box, which actually that box right in front of me might have worked. But I'm going to make a box out of boxes. Cereal boxes. And duct tape. It's going to be custom shaped for Chloe's. My camera turned itself off, but I have the box. Now I'm gonna fill it. I have, in case you didn't see, two boxes of Reese's Puffs. I got the mosaic. I got the cinnamon roll crunch. I've never had it, but it looks like it's yummy. And it seemed like something that you would want. New, see, new months ago. And then I've been kind of collecting things. Now some of these are outdated because it's totally the wrong season. I wanted to give you something that you could give to your students. This was at Halloween time. So, I have some little cat erasers. They're just cute little faces, so maybe they'll still like them, even though it's not Halloween. I have some tights. I got them on clearance. They're blue. Well, you'll see them. I think they're very Chloe. I could totally see wearing these. I bought this pack of socks. I wanted some new athletic socks that have, you know, like the grabby kind in the center, the ones that get all tighter around the center. and. It was a pack of six, and there were three that have colors and three that don't have colors. And so I'm sending you the green ones. I have ones that have blue, or like a teal blue color, and pink. And so you could wear these, and I have the same socks in a different color. So that's fun. We like socks, don't we? At least we like to give each other socks anyway. Halloween socks, a little late. Burt's Bees. Two books about dinosaurs at a reading level two, grades one to three. So I thought maybe you could read these to your to your students or to yourself because they're about dinosaurs. Pack of Kleenexes are so cute. It's an owl. I like him. He's cute. One of my favorite things that I found at the grocery store. Glow in the dark. Build your own dinosaur. How awesome. This had Chloe written all over it. Some goldfish. They might be a little bit crushed. Kind of hilarious because you got a package from your mom. And what did she have in it? I already had these, Chloe. Sour, bright crawlers. Gummy worms. I already had them for you. I'm a genius. And these were on clearance because that's how I like to roll. Walmart brand or Great Value Raspberry Fish Chew Candy. Swedish Fish. I even tried a bag already because I wondered if they tasted like Swedish fish, Swedish fish, and they really do. They pretty much taste the same. I thought Swedish fish were cherry, always. Maybe they're raspberry. I haven't looked it up. Funny story. When, last December, when I was at home, I went through a bunch of boxes from my former life, and one of the boxes was a box of my pencil collection, which really was just... A billion pencils. I never counted them. I do have a picture of all of them. But I found two that I wanted to give you and so I put them in my backpack and I saw you this last summer and I never gave them to you. This one even still has the price tag on it from the BYU bookstore. I don't know, 95. I bought it in when I was there in 96. It's a dinosaur pencil and this one is about books or big fun. This is the pamphlet about the Arboretum, where I took you on that adventure. Your name tag from your birthday sign that hung in my apartment for your video. I got some dumb magazine that I don't even know how I got it because I didn't subscribe to any magazine. Oh, look at what was in it. Apparently, you're a perfume. I can't smell it anymore. You might not be able to smell it. But, hello, Chloe. 
It looks like you don't have very many clothes on. If this is supposed to be you, I question your photography. But it's not me. A giant gummy bear. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because the Reese's box and this Kix box were not the same size. There's your package. Has fun. Now that you should have opened it before this video. It's all ready to go. I wrapped it in brown paper. I didn't video that, but it's good to go. It's way heavier than I thought it was going to be. We'll see how much this costs. This might be the only package you get from me while you're in Korea. We'll see.